Hi, this is Scott Warner with Inovia Consulting, and thank you for taking some time today to learn about Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. Today, we will take a quick look at the Business Central Ordering Guide. Microsoft has created a simple way to take and input orders from your customer by putting all the information you need on one screen, as you'll see in just a moment. From our home screen in Business Central, go to Sales, and into Sales Orders. What we can see from this page is all of our open and released uh, orders from past dates. You can also see the dates they were posted. You can see which locations we pulled them out of. We can also see who we sent these to and an order number regarding that sales order. For today, we'll create a new one. So we'll hit new. From this screen, it'll bring us to a sales order page. As we begin, it'll start to populate uh, on its own. So it'll give us an order number, posting an order date. Our job then is to pick a, a customer. For today, we'll use Spots Myers Convenience Store. Again, it starts to populate our customer name as well as a, a, our contact for that customer, as well as a due date. We can also select if the customer needs this order by a specific date. We can choose that as well. Over on the right, you can see we've got uh, how many ongoing sales orders, uh, how many ongoing sales quotes, just giving us a little bit of information on our customer. As well, if you'll notice up top, this, this error will pop up saying this customer has an overdue balance. With this being a demo site, we're not too concerned, but in the aspects you may need it, uh, you may want to check that out and see what's going on, why they haven't paid that yet. From here, we'll go to Navigate, Order, and we'll pull up the Order Guide. On the Order Guide, uh, you'll see a few items that we have selected for this customer. If we wanted, we could turn on History. And this will be only things they've ever ordered. If you wanted to do it by the last week, the last month, type that in here, and only things uh, relevant to your search will pop up. For today, we'll take off history and have everything we have available to them on their order guide. You can also see on the right hand side, we've got a location code. So where are we going to pull all of this from? Select as many as you need. For today, we'll use Maine. And as you see, if we look down at the bottom here, you can get a little information as to what, what we're, what's on the order guide itself. So we've got an item number, and a description on that item, so what is it? You also can see quantity on hand and quantity available. Uh, we have 100 available and 105 on hand. This would be because in the main warehouse, we currently have 105, but there may be five on another sales order, leaving you uh, only with 100 since all of this is real-time data. You'll also see the last time they ordered. And as we go down and we start to fill out everything we uh, the customer ordered. Nice, quick, and easy. We can just kind of go down this list real simple, as you can see. And then what's really nice about our order guide is it begins to populate all this. So you've got our last order date, like I said. You've also got a unit price and the last unit price they paid for. It. So if that changes, it'll be reflected here. You can also see how many was shipped to the customer on this last order date. So how many more did they need? We've also got a, a order unit of measure. So what are they buying it in? So they're buying it by the case, the tote, each bag. You also have a unit cost for your information so you can know what it's costing you versus what they're paying for it. Your expected margin by dollar and then your expected margin by price. As we scroll over, uh, you can see what the base unit of measure it is for itself and then what you're selling it at. So if you have, if you buy it by the case, but they, but you sell it by the each, you can have that be reflected here. So once you've filled out your entire order guide, you'll go to process and add lines. Four items have been added to your order. We go back. And as you can see, once we're back on our sales order, you can see everything we just ordered off our order guide is now added here. Then all we have to do is go to posting. We can do a preview posting. 
making sure that we had no errors. All good. Then we just go to posting. Post. Ship an invoice. And we're all set. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day.